Hello, welcome to your love reading. All right, so let's take a look and see what's happening during this Mercury in retrograde and see what messages are coming in for you at this time. What is the love messages? Of course, like, share, and subscribe before we start. Hit that subscribe button, like. Welcome everyone to Say La Vie Tara. What is the vibe in love? Family. Family. All right, family, 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 worried here. All right, we have a little worried energy. What do you want, I'm hearing? Someone here wants to know, what, what do you ultimately want with us, with me, with this connection here? Escapism. Some of you feel like someone here is running from the truth, running from what they're, what they said that they wanted. What they said that they wanted is what I'm getting. This person comes off as a very family-oriented person. They're very close to their family. They're very loving. They're very genuine towards the people that they love, their kids, their friends, and things like that, their siblings, all that good jazz. But you're worried that this person may not want that with you, right? Someone here is a little worried, like, does this person ultimately want that with me? Someone here could also be concerned with someone's drinking, someone's escapism, right? doesn't have to be drinking. But the way that someone escapes from topics, right? Especially if you want long-term. Family could also mean long-term. It could just mean building something with harmony and joy. I, I don't feel like this person ultimately wants that. And I feel like that's one of the things that's coming in here. Let's get a little bit more in terms of the challenge. Let's touch the tarot for that. What has been the challenge in this connection, Spirit, during this time frame? What has been the challenge? Relationship, commitment, stability, coming together, compromising, understanding each other. You know, I love the Hierophant. You know, the Hierophant reminds us of where we came from. The Hierophant reminds us of our morals, our, our oath to love and the things that we've always desired in love, right? Our religious factors, things that we believe in, things that we always believed in, and that's becoming a challenge. This person used to say things that they would want or they say things that they desire, but they don't act on it. They say they want a family. They say they want love. They say they want the end all be all. And when it's time to receive it, that's not what's going on. Now, that challenge could also be for you as well, right? It could be, hey, look, I've always wanted to have some sort of stability in this way. Whatever that looked like for you in your past here. It's, you know, what's very important also is to not allow anybody to change what you desire. Uh, what I mean by that is if connecting with someone and, yeah, I like them, we have a connection, but they don't want what they say they want or they don't want what i want so there's something about the hierophant here taurus energy stability energy grounded energy um that could be a challenge right now right now right it could be temporary but it's it's a challenge right now right maybe for some of you meeting the family has been a challenge meeting the family has definitely been a challenge actually not yeah for some of you it's like i haven't met your family like I'm here you know you talk about your family all the time but I haven't met your family what's up what's going on here clarify in a little bit more for this hair font anything else that may be a challenge look at that that freaking ten of cups being a challenge wow harmony peace some of you are feeling like you don't know if this is going to be it you know, and this could be the, you know, retrograde here, especially if there's a lack of communication. Some of you are wondering, like, is this going to move into that level of understanding, that level of moving in, right? Being consistent, being in love. Can we, can we pull this through here? So there's a lot going on in the challenge here. So let's take a look and see how this person feels about you. I mean, these are some heavy energies to be a challenge. But we do have Mercury in retrograde here. So this could also, again, signify that we're not, being, we're not able to communicate about that, what we want long term. We're just going with the flow. 
But I feel like someone here is worried. Someone here is is o awake and they're saying, I know there's something up here and I know there's something that we need to address here. Some of you, you've been connecting with someone that's been brutally hurt in love and they're afraid of communicating certain things here. How does this person feel about my viewers? How does this person truly feel at this time? At this time about my viewers? Look at that. All right, so this person has faith here. They want to go with the flow. This person could be a little immature. They want to go with the flow. They feel th this rush towards you. They feel good about you. They feel, you know, they're immature. Th this person, they, they have a lot of feelings for you, but I feel like this person is one of those, like, let's just go day by day, which is okay, but I, I just get that this person's going with this, going with the flow type of thing here. Um, they do feel for you. They do have a very strong connection towards you, but again, it's the way that they're approaching this connection that could be a little bit hard here. We have the tower coming out here. I'll be mindful to not get into any harsh or aggressive disputes here um i just feel like this person doesn't really want to in the meantime at this time want to talk any talk about anything too serious is what i'm getting i don't want to really communicate or address anything too serious at this time all right with that tower energy here there could be a shocking shift there could be in allowing things to flow you know during mercury retrograde i always just say it's important to just be quiet and observe and allow things to be and allow things to um to flow and, and for you to just take note it's going to be very important to take note now one thing i do see happening here is a lot of karma coming in here all right so someone here that in the past maybe they would treat people as as they wish right i would do whatever i want i feel like they're going to start to understand that's not the way uh, life is here uh let's see how my viewers feel about this connection how are my viewers feeling about this connection ultimately? Oh, you're at peace. Look at you. You're at peace. I, I mean, you, you would like things to move forward, but you're not in a rush. You're not in a rush at all here. Okay. Some of you, you know, this is a connection that has come your way to, for you to really understand your patience level. Um, some of you are learning a lot of patience during this time. Um, you're learning that you're not able to push anybody that doesn't want to be pushed. I will say one of the things I'm feeling heavily in this reading during this time, especially there's a phone call that's coming in. That's going to be very, very informative and it's going to be important for you to listen. Listening is going to be your best friend with this energy, especially if you're a fire sign. Listening is going to be brutally important. Listen, allow things to flow. Know when it's time to take action here. Someone here, it's like they, they rush to conclusions. Someone here is rushing to conclusions or rushing towards this. This is what I, I assumed that you meant. And it's not what you meant. So be very careful here. Um, and also with this escapism energy here, you may be connecting with someone that likes to run or drink or do things to sort of get out of their own mind. Why are they so worried here? They're so worried, but the challenge is of what they're worried about is long-term commitment here. So in the extended, we'll take a look at if this is something that's worth waiting for, honestly. Is it worth waiting for? Um, there's something about karma happening with your person. Some of you may get some news about this person or something here that, you know, that maybe took place or is taking place in this person's life here. And they're going to ultimately realize that, you know, maybe I made the wrong decision or I've been making wrong decisions here. OK, so we're going to definitely jump in and take a look at where things are going and if this is worth it, especially if you're wanting to um, move towards this as your goal. Harmony, balance, relationship, love, transparency. Um, and we'll see if we have anything else coming in for you, okay? Or if this is actually going to move in a different direction unexpectedly, especially with that tower. There's something here shifting. I will talk to you soon. The preview is up next, all right? And we will talk soon. Have a beautiful one. Love you. And this is this person's biggest fear. 
It's their biggest fear. And I feel like this person's been hiding this fear from you. They do not want you to know that they feel this way. They don't want you to know that this is what they, um, that they think about at night. And they think... And